this is Dingus. Dingus is a deep reinforcement learning cube. And he has hands again. A while back, I made a series of small boulder pushing courses and gave Dingus the Sisyphean task of learning how to push that boulder to the end of each course. He succeeded, but I always wondered how he'd cope instead with one really long, hard course. I should rephrase that. And so I made this. This is two minutes of some really nasty boulder pushing. A single mistake sends you back to the start to do it all over again. Dingus managed to learn how to do, say, like, 20 second courses over a long time. But how is he going to manage one super long, uninterrupted course of pain? Well, let's just find out. I have four separate Dingus environments running at the same time, each one having 18 agents running simultaneously. This means there are 72 Dinguses all trying to do the exact same thing on the exact same course to help increase learning speed. Ooh, and he's already pushed the boulder off the edge. That will get him some negative reward, and over time he'll learn that pushing the boulder off the edge is probably not a good strategy. But clearly he hasn't learned that yet, as he goes over to the boulder, seemingly intentionally, and pushes it straight off. Clearly Dingus has been doing some learning, at least in other environments, as he now pushes the ball entirely up the first simple incline. The challenges start a bit simple, to make sure that he has the opportunity to learn in a somewhat safe space. A little while later, we see Dingus continue to make decent progress until, uh, he gets scared of success? Dingus, what's the matter? You've got to push past this fear. Success is on the other side of the unknown. Next try, Dingus has obviously conquered his fears. See? Look how fearlessly he launches himself and the boulder off the platform. He seems to actually be super into that because he does exactly the same thing a few more times in a row. Eventually we make marginally more progress. And then we get a few more runs with pretty much exactly the same progress until Dingus then gets a tiny bit further. And then once again, becomes overcome with immense self-doubt. Dingus, this is gonna be a real long journey if you can't process your trauma properly. A bit more progress next up. Dingus is nearly up to the first actual challenge at the run, the side slopes, and then he balls it up. A few tries later, Dingus finally makes it to the side slopes, and immediately slides right off the edge. That's not surprising, he's never had to deal with proper slopes. But you better believe it's going to take him some time to learn how to do slopes. But, ooh, oh he saved it for now. Ooh, not quite, but there's still good progress. A couple of trials later, Dingus is trying to get it over the hump on the first slide. Oh, bad he's lost it. But he's not giving up. Ah, oh, Dingus. A few more struggles here to progress further. Oh, he's getting a lot closer now. Ah, oh, yeah. Progress. Very slight progress, but I'm counting it. So at this point in his journey, how much further does Dingus have to go? Oh. Okay. Well, let's not worry about that and try to keep making progress. Dingus looks like he's really getting the hang of the first steep slope at this point. Ah, oh, what happened there, Dingus? Okay, let's see what a full run looks like currently for Dingus. Oh wow, Dingus, look at you go! Wow, there's a lot of extra progress in one run. Dang, you got to the next challenge segment. The Thin Turns. I could probably have come up with more menacing names for these. That's like 20%-ish done already. And here's the very next attempt. Dingus makes his way to the Thin Turns and... Oh nice! Dingus, that was a great first attempt. Maybe this will actually be feasible. Uh, Dingus, the boulder. Uh, Dingus, you need the boulder to win. Dingus. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dingus. This is actually a really interesting insight into what the AI is likely learning. He's more memorizing actions than necessarily learning exactly what he needs to do for each new challenge. He's thinking, I sort of start moving around like this, and then I keep doing these exact steps afterwards. Except sometimes, he misses the boulder entirely. And as far as he's concerned, well, that's not actually important for success. Still funny though. And here's another boulderless escapade. Independent Dingus don't need no boulder. Except you really do, Dingus. You get no reward for that. 
Ooh, and this time Dingus makes it to the thinnest part of the turn. He gets a bad angle and unfortunately doesn't make it any further this time. And there we go! And next up is the Rocky Road. Easily one of the hardest trials. We're nearly halfway through the challenges left for him now. But as we continue to progress, progress is going to get slower and slower. Because Dingus has to 1. Complete all the trials before he even gets an attempt at the new one. And 2. He still hasn't mastered some of the earlier ones. So he needs to learn those over time as well. Excellent spin there Dingus. Progress is definitely slower here, but the rocky road is brutal. Still, Dingus is taking it all in his stride, mastering plenty of sick flips and sick spins while he falls off the edge. About 14 minutes after he first encountered the rocky road, Dingus has his first real breakthrough. That's some good progress, Dingus. 40% done! I'm just going to use this footage to show that Dingus is not perfect and still balls things up all the time. But he gets better at the older stuff as he continues to progress on the new stuff. This drop here near the end of the rocky road is the next big challenge. Really easy to lose control of the boulder afterwards. I'm not sure what led to this, but this cracks me up. Boulder, let's you and I split up here. We'll confuse the mountain. And here's our next big breakthrough. Oh, he's gotten to the edge. Oh, so close. It's so difficult to keep a hand on the boulder once you do that drop. And here's our next breakthrough attempt. We get back to the end. Oh, he's got it. Just get it back. Oh, dig is so close. Here we are nearly an hour after Dingus first found the rocky road. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Okay, now we're on to the next part, the slide. That is an awful way to handle the slide, Dingus. I definitely wouldn't say Dingus has mastered the drop yet, but he's getting a lot more consistent at least. Except for that. What the heck was that, Dingus? Okay, we have another attempt that manages to get to the slide here. Oh, that feels about as successful as last time. Okay, we've got another attempt that reached the slide. Oh, much better. <laughs> yeah, nice, Dingus. Okay, maybe the slide wasn't that difficult. Whatever, the next one is. Next up is the snake, the most narrow and twisted part of the entire course. It goes on for a long time and features some really tight turns. This, plus the drop at the end, is the final challenge for Dingus to overcome, and it promises to be a doozy. So yeah, Dingus hasn't encountered anything quite like the snake yet, so my expectation was that this would take him quite a while, at least until we got to this run. Okay, now he's actually up to the twisting turn parts, the really hard part. Wait, Dingus, what are you doing? Dingus, what's going on here? D Dingus, Dingus, what the heck, dude? Dingus, what? What? Dingus! What are you doing? <laughs> he just played out of his freaking mind. Okay, so that was a slight fluke. But not actually that much of a fluke. Dingus doesn't do quite that well again, at least until a few more attempts.
Dingus gets pretty good at this pretty quickly. The final challenge remaining is the steep drop at the end, which requires he go down quickly with the ball and keep it steady while he gets onto the final ascent. By the way, if you really like Dingus, I've got a bonus for you. I've got a downloadable version of this level. There's two versions, one that's playable by humans, and another that has Dingus's fully trained model already on it so you can see how he plays it. If you're interested, the link is in the description. Finally, we get this run. He's done it. Finally, all he has to- Oh, come on, dingus! Okay, but it takes him no time to get on another successful run. This is it. The ascent. There's nothing left to do at this point. Dingus slowly climbs up to the top. His mission is complete. Nothing can stop him now. After nearly four hours of training, or, if you count the individual agents, after about 273 hours of training, Dingus has finally done it. Well done, Dingus. Hey, thanks so much for watching.